is Kristen and I have an empties video for you. I normally do these sitting on the ground in front of my um, dresser there, but because I'm all festive as this dizzed up here, <laughs> I decided to do it here and I'll just sort and then put it in the garbage after I'm done. So we are just going to go ahead and jump in. This will be my last empties video for the year. How is that even possible? Where did the year go? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna to have to set this here. We're just gonna to have to go through and in no particular order. So the first thing I have is the Dove Dry Spray. I love this, this is my favorite deodorant. I love the, I found that all the scents perform similarly, so that's good. Sorry, I just adjusted the camera a little bit. I felt like it was, you know, we're just adjusting things on the fly here. It's fine. Uh, anyway, so all of the scents perform similarly. I think, you know, how I feel like in some products, some. A scent can make a difference, but I don't feel like it does in this. But this Beauty Finish scent is my favorite of all of them that I have tried. I don't know, it's just clean, yet it has a little prettiness to it. I don't know, I, I like that. I'm just gonna have a big old pile on my floor here. Uh, the next is a hair product. This is Hot Off the Press by Paul Mitchell. This is an oldie but a goodie. Oh, by the way, I have already repurchased that. Oops, boy, we got things fun. I mean, honestly. <sighs> I've repurchased this many, many times and will continue to. This is the product that I use um, on my hair before I put any sort of heat style to it. Heat styler to it, like flat iron, curling iron is what I mean. Uh, <laughs> just laughing at myself, chucking things on the ground. Uh, okay, so this is interesting. I had never used this product before. This came in a box of some sort. It's by Human Kind or Human Plus Kind. I'm not really sure that's the brand right there. I've cut it completely open to get everything out of it. This is the body souffle, and it was really, really nice. It had like a, almost like a kind of a honeysuckle scent to it, which makes sense why I liked it. And while it was a, a thinner consistency, I really felt like it soaked in really well and was very moisturizing. So I liked this, and I would repurchase it again if I could find it. Again, it's by Human Plus Kind, and it's a skincare with a conscience. So I don't know a ton about that brand, but there's that. Let's just... And we had another Dove deodorant. <laughs> so I really like that. I don't have a ton of things this time, but I wanted to kind of, you know, end the... End, you know, kind of round the year out at the end here. I have two little baby size of the Trust Me. I just put it in here in case somebody just happens upon my video for the first time. First of all, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. Uh, second of all, the Tresemme Tray 2 is my favorite favorite hairspray of all time. It's inexpensive. It's drug drugstore. It's awesome. It's absolutely my favorite. I have had some people tell me that they don't love the scent of it, but I real I have no issue with the scent, and I really like it. All right, let's just get all of these out of here right away. Something also that I talk about regularly: the Kirkland makeup wipes. These are absolutely my favorites. They have enough moisture in them. They have the pack that I bought. I, I, the, <sighs> the box that I buy has both like travel size. So I think there's 15 in here. Does it say yes, there's 15 in here. And then it has one that I keep at my um, sink in my bathroom that has 30 and a reclosable thing. I love these. I, I will be so sad if they ever get rid of them. So they better not because I absolutely love them. Uh, okay. I have a couple more hair things. We'll try to, I'll try to sort this out just a touch for you guys if I can. So, this is the Caviar Anti-Aging Rapid Repair Spray Instant Shine Protection. I use this every single um, time I wash my hair. And it just, it protects it. Obviously, it's called, <laughs> there's the word, or is it, does it say? Oh, it says Rapid Repair Spray. Doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Instant Shine and Protection. I'm like, I know that word was in there somewhere. So, they just, there's no hold to this. You can see on the hold range there, it says zero. But I really like this. It has a nice scent to it, and I, I just I feel like it's helping my help help protect something. So I have already repurchased this. It goes in the recycling section down there, and then this is the Macadamia Professional N Nourishing Moisture Oil Treatment. I don't even know how long I've used this oil. This is I I've gone through at least 10, 12 of these in my YouTube career. Um, I learned about this way back when from. Um, Oh, I don't know what her name is now, but it's from Tammy. I will list her below. I think it's Ageless Beauty or something like that. That's what her channel is called now. But at any rate, Crazy Miss Tammy. I learned about this from her eons ago. This is something also that I put in every single time I wash my hair. 
And then um, after I style my hair when it's dry, I'll put just a touch more on my hands, put it in there, kind of run it through my ends. So really like that product, have continued to purchase it. You can sometimes find that at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or um, Holt Look sometimes will have it on sale. Especially, they seem to change their packaging a lot and that's generally when I'll get it on sale. Uh, whatever, random information. And then lastly is a different heat protectant spray. This is by Dry Bar. It's called Hot Toddy. I like this, but it's really fragrant. Like if you, if, if uh, fragrances give you migraine, I feel like this would really give you migraine. And I don't like it as well as I like the Paul Mitchell, but the Paul Mitchell does not come in a travel size and this one does. So I wouldn't buy a full size of this, but I'm very happy that I can find it in a travel size so that I have a heat protectant for my hair. All right, some body things. I do have five mascaras, by the way, for Mascara Madness at the end, so stay tuned for that if that's if that's your jam. Uh, okay, <laughs> I've used a hundred of these. Trader Joe's body butter, coconut body butter. I love this. It's like a warm, vanilla-y scent. This scent stays with you all day long, and I have heard from migraine people, people that get migraines, I mean, that this um, does not seem to cause them, even though you can smell it all day, it doesn't seem to, the fragrance doesn't seem to trigger migraines in my friends that get migraines. So there may be other people that it did, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know I try to be conscious of that. I know a lot of people suffer with migraines. I, I sometimes get them, but not because of scents. Okay, um, this is the Murad High, we're moving on to skincare now. The Murad Hydrating Toner, they changed the bottle on this, but I st still the same. I love it. It works very, very well. It's my favorite toner. I'm currently using the Kapari one. I think it's a rose one, and I like that. So I'm trying to decide if I like it better or, <laughs> or the same as or whatever of this. But at any rate, I like this, and I will repurchase it. Haven't yet, but I will repurchase that. Um, the Simple Micellar Water, this is what I use to remove my eye makeup on a little cotton round. I love this. I think it's the most inexpensive. It doesn't work quite as well as Bioderma or the Garnier one, but I know the Garnier has some things, some ingredients in it that people are concerned about. I'm not versed in that. I'm just sharing with you what people have told me, so I tend to not use that one anymore. And the Bioderma is just super expensive, so there's, that's the reason why I don't use that one as much. But you can get this in a much bigger bottle now too. I think the last time I went to Target, I found it in a bigger bottle and that's what I'm currently using. So I'm a big fan of that as far as eye make removal. Uh, okay, here's a, this, this is a moisturizer. I'm interesting, interesting that I don't have a full moisturizer in here. I must be close to ending on one. But at any rate, this is the It Cosmetic Secret Sauce. I just don't like this. I used it up, but it's just not enough for my dry skin and especially not this time of year. So um, I think, I'm sure that I probably got this in something along the way because it says not for resale, so it was probably PR or whatever, but I just don't love this. <laughs> Watch me get, well, I pretty much have it removed from all PR lists. It's fine. Uh, okay, the Estee Lauder Night Repair Eye. I like this. I, I do like this. Um, it looks like this. And this is a little, I think it was a sample size. I don't know that it was a full size. It lasted a long time. It's a very kind of balm consistency versus uh, like a normal eye cream consistency and I used it both night and day because that was this was the one I was traveling with and it didn't seem to disrupt concealer or anything like that I like it I just don't know that it's as moisturizing as the Algenis and that for me is the gold standard and the one that I love the most so when I where I list this below I will list the link for the Algenis below it so you can go check out what I'm talking about when I refer to the Algenis. It's like the complete eye renewal balm. I just love that and it is by far my favorite. This is nice though. Might be a close second. I'd have to do more research, but at any rate, in the recycle. And another thing, this is the last one of these. I had a bunch of these that a subscriber at one point had sent me. I don't know how she came to them, but it's a little baby size of the Lancome Genifique. And I have used all of the Genifique that I have in my collection. I think I might save this though, wash it out and save it so that I can refill in the future. But I just wanted to say that I have actually switched over to the Algenist Liquid Collagen for my night serum instead of this. I think you probably could do both. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I know there are people that load up a bunch of serum. I just, I just don't know how much your face can actually take. You know what I'm saying? I wash my face. I tone my face. I put a serum on it put an eye cream and a moisturizer. And that's the extent of what I do. <laughs> right or wrong, that's what I do. So at any rate, I've, I've loved Genifique. I've bought it over and over and over again. 
I just, I don't know. I, I love how my skin is looking right now. And that's the thing really that I've changed. That and my moisturizer, I went back to a different Algenis moisturizer. You guys know, I've loved the Algenis products for years and years and years and years. Long before YouTube, long before anybody knew who I was. Uh, okay, oh, this is a back to Mac. I have, <laughs> that's more me reminding myself not to recycle this because I can back to Mac this. But this is the Mac Prep and Prime. This is by far my favorite spray to spray on my face after I finished all of my powders and everything and just set everything. And I, I've used others, there are others that I like, but this for me is the gold standard of setting sprays, take away your, you know, add some doiness, that, that sort of spray. This is the gold standard of that. And then lastly, as I use a little travel up a little travel size, I have this in full size here, always in travel size. This is the Lancome La Via Belle. It's my favorite. I just love this. This is my signature scent. Um, it's funny because <laughs> when I, in my first week at my new job back in August, the owner of the company was walking through. He was coming to find me, and he was like, "I knew you were here. I could smell you." <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but anyway, who knows? All right, I have some makeup products that I have finished. And then I, at some point here in the next couple days, I will film my finale for my 2019 Use It Up program. We'll see where I landed and how many products I used up, if I got to 19 or not. Um, first is the travel size. I, this, is, this doesn't count, by the way. This is the travel size of the, if I can get it off, Becca First Light Priming Filter. I love this. It's just, I have repurchased. I have two of them right now that I just bought as backups. I absolutely love this primer. It's my fav favorite primer. Not anything new there. Um, we're going to save the best to last here. I use up an hour, a little, this is the smaller size of the Hourglass Dim Light. This is what I use, <coughs> excuse me, to soften the lines. Here, after I put on my blush and bronzer and everything, I just use this to help soften lines. I use it every single day, whether I'm here or whether I'm traveling. Okay, I used um, a uh, I was going to say full size, obviously. I use all of the Laura Mercier Loose Minerals. This is the one in Real Sand. Love this. Love. I've loved this for years and years and years. Um, I will generally, as you guys know, I use a liquid foundation with a powder foundation over the top of it. And this is absolutely one of my favorites. I will purchase this again. I'm really trying to kind of work through some of what I have. But I will purchase this again. It, does ha it did have this sifter top in it. And I just take that out so I can get every last bit out of there. So, proud of that. Uh, I worked through a Nick Cosmetics Brow Power. This, I was just talking about it in live this morning. This is my favorite liner, or my favorite, favorite brow product of all time. I've tried so many different brow products and this is the one that I have gone back to over and over again. I'll try something else and really like it. I go back to this and remember how much I love this. This is the shade Universal Taupe. It just works for me. It, it, it's supposed to work for everybody. I find that hard to believe, but it's all in how the pressure and how heavy, you know, you press down when you're putting on your brows as, as far as how dark it is or how light it is or whatever. But I just love this. I love it for travel as well because it's got, I have a little mini one in my travel. It's got the spoolie on the other side. Most of them do now, but this is a great, great product. It stays, it lasts till you take it off. Um, it's a great consistency when you put it on. I just really, oops, I really, really like that. And last, but certainly not least. And we'll, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a moment for this in my use it up as well. I used up the last of the Tarte concealer. I have had this thing, I don't even know how many years. I probably should have given it up, but it did not smell bad at all. I used, I mean, I dug in there. I'm not sure if you can see. I used every single last bit. I was on a mission and I was not giving up. Can't tell you how many times people have said, just give it up, it's fine. <clears throat> no. <laughs> so I used up the Tarte concealer and I'm pretty proud of that. Okay. And it, really, it wasn't like it was torturous to use up. Towards the end, I actually liked it so much better under my eyes than I originally did. For the longest time, I was using it just for sort of blemishes on my face because it was not creaseless. It did crease on me. And as it got older, it got more dried out and worked better. I don't know. All right, so let's have a little mascara madness here. Um, one is the It Cosmetics Superhero. I do like this mascara. I used to really love it. But I don't know, the couple of times that I've gotten it recently, so within the last year, year and a half, 
it just seems even goopier than it used to be. And I have to do a lot of like trying to do this to get it to not, and I just, I, I don't have time for that. So I don't think I would purchase this again. See, I'm telling you what, it cosmetics would be like, we are not sending her anything ever again. What are you gonna do? However, this is a Nick Cosmetics product that I did like. This was the Lash Blowout Mascara. They did send this to me. It's the last thing I think that they've sent that they sent me. I thought this was great. I um, it doesn't give in as much volume as I would like, but it, I really did feel like it lengthened. I'm opening this to show you guys the wand. I really did feel like it lengthened and separated. It just didn't add as much volume as I would like, but I did like this. It did transfer a little bit under my brow but nothing crazy. Um, so I would consider purchasing that one again. Um, this one, I, well, actually we'll save it. We'll save it. This was terrible. I didn't like this at all. The It Cosmetics, no, I'm sorry. Tarte Big Ego. This is the wand on it. This smeared and transferred. It felt tacky. It never dried. It didn't build up. It didn't separate. It made me look like I had a couple of lashes. I tried. But no, that is, no, no, no. All right, this was definitely one of my favorites. I can't, I was going to include this in my 2019 favorites, but I have a feeling this was actually 2018 that I discovered this. I can't remember for sure. I may include it anyway. This is the Wander Beauty Unlashed. Sorry, I didn't even show you. It looks like this. And it looks like this. I really do like this. I'm, I'm really torn between this and then the other mascara that I'm about to show you as far as which one I like best at this point. Um, the other one is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I've talked about this quite a bit. Um, I love this. It's something about this kind of just very basic wand. It separates, it lengthens. I'm wearing, not from this one, I'm wearing a new one today that I just opened. I feel like it gets a little more delightful as time goes on. It takes a little bit to kind of build up to that full delightfulness <laughs> that is a mascara but I would absolutely purchase either one of these again. I feel like they are both winners. <laughs> so big fans of those. All right, and that, my friends, is the last of my empties for 2019. I hope that you enjoyed it. On my face today, I have the Fenty Foundation with the Becca First Light Priming Filter. On my cheeks, I have the Japanesque um, Velvet Blush in Shade 2. I'm working on, working on that one. I'm gonna add that to my 20 list. And then on my eyes, I have the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Palette. I just used a little bit of this shade right here in the crease and this shade in the outer corner. And then on my eyelids is the Stila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Jezebel. Just on my eye, hopefully you can see it's, they have a little shimmer. And then I did add a little Essence Pure Nude Highlight, which looks like that, to my cheeks. And then lastly, my lip combo is the same Charlotte Tilbury lip combo I wear frequently. It is the lip liner in Iconic Nude, the lipstick in Penelope Pink, and then the lip gloss in Seduction. And I think, my friends, that that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do and say, be beautiful. Bye.